It is an eyesore to find on some major roads in Benin City where bags of refuse are dumped on the median of roads. The ugly development tells a sad story about the city, the capital of Edo State, in spite of government's continued commitment to beautify it. It was, however, observed that a truck was this Saturday on the road picking the deaths. But at Owena Street, with several quarters in Benin City, some residents were observed clearing bushy portions around them. They said the decision was informed by the need to contribute their quota to guarantee a healthy environment. The residents appealed to the state government to reintroduce the weekly environmental sanitation exercise to reawaken the consciousness of residents on the need to have a clean environment. We see and say everywhere rough. So today, Saturday, the environment, now of all you decide, say maybe we come out, maybe we come make everywhere neat. I decide to clean the environment that is not everything we, we wait for the government to do for us. So as to clean the environment now, there will not be mosquito again. As we are doing the sweeping, the clearing is very good to avoid disease for our children and all those infections that will affect our children. State Chairman Road Transport Employers Association of Nigeria, Comrade Charles Momo, commended the state government for the distribution of waste baskets to drivers in efforts to keep the environment clean. Comrade Momo advised passengers to use the waste basket to enable the state government achieve the purpose of distributing the waste baskets. I'm, I'm using this uh, uh, opportunity to advise them, most especially to caution their passengers who while driving the roads to obey and see the reason why that basket should be used. Because sometimes the passenger will still want to fling their maybe their bins outside or their waste outside. It is compulsory. It's better you put it inside that. Uh, basket and that is why it's there for that use or that purpose. The word Earth Day is marked until the 2nd of April every year. Justin Egmont, EBS News.